<gasps> what happened to you? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. See you, Henry. We're getting a haircut, aren't we, Henry? Uh, yeah. See you, Al. I'm getting tired of this, Henry. You're being really horrid, Henry. Oh! Go! Oh, excuse me, Dad. Number two. Next. I said, who's next? Uh, uh, I think it must be me. Chop, chop, then. Come on, Henry. He won't eat you. Um, just a trim, please. Uh, that'll do. Thank you. Hey. Eh? It, Henry, don't behave like a baby. I didn't behave like a baby, did I, Dad? No, you didn't, Peter. My hair's longer, so it hurts more. Keep still. Ow! I need the toilet. Why didn't you go when we came in? Well, I didn't need to go then. I need to go now. Well, hurry up. Henry? Uh, coming! Waiting. Just washing my hands. You wait up. That's it. The perfect haircut coming up. It's so easy being me. I'm Can you believe the word? Anyone would think I wasn't his older and better brother. Henry! Here goes. Well, come on, then. I'm not doing this on my own. Yeah. Ah, Henry Letter. Hello, great aunt Greta. Happy unbirthday, Henry Letter. Oh, uh, thank you, great aunt Greta. They're toffee tongue twisters. Toffee tongue twisters? Cool! My favourite! Thanks, Great Henrietta. You're welcome, Henrietta. It's not easy being the little sister of a teenager. Too right it's not. Mwah. Mwah. OK, now, where's the darling birthday boy, Ben? He's, uh, he's waiting for you in the living room, Ruby. I say, OK, you're Henry. Yep. I say, okay, y'all, too, Steve. I say, my friend. Okay, y'all, Henry. 
Yeah, well, my fate too. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, Henry. I say, are you going to give a chuckle on Henry? <laughs> no way. Get your own tongue twisters. Things are mine. <laughs> Stuck up stick. Oh, uh, just put them over there. Oh, uh, you can go now. Thank you. Come on, Henry. Time for some party fun. Fancy a bit of pre-party snacking before the party fun? A lovely birthday. Oh, right. Lovely present. Lovely Peter. Yeah, right. Lovely Peter. Lovely if I could come in, Henry. Oh, uh, yes. Come in, Miss Lovely. Lovely Henry. They're all in there. Oh, lovely. How did you get on? Mission accomplished, Miss Ortmoyer. Well done, Mr. Soggington. Hiding them in the toilet, then asking for a toilet break in the middle of your test. <laughs> oldest trick in the book. Oh, oldest trick in the book. <laughs> did you get that, Miss Ortmoyer? Oldest trick. Yes, Mr. Soggington. Oh, bring them to my office. Yes, Miss Ortmoyer. We'll just have to try something else. Go on then, try it. Oh, what is that smell? It is very smelly. It's a smelly smell. Yeah, smelly smell. Yes, thank you, Susan. It's Henry. Oh, it's more good. I can't Read my own writing. Not sure the shoes are gonna work, Henry. Time to try my secret weapon then. <laughs> so, if I were to ask 
you what three plus two equals. What would the answer be? Please, Miss. Yes, Margaret? The answer would be five, Miss. Well done, Margaret. <laughs> and if I were to ask you what three plus three to the power of prime number 17 divided by the two dealers of 24 was... Yes, Margaret? There's someone at the window, Miss. Is that a rat? <laughs> oh. Henry? Yes, Dad? You in bed already? Yes, Dad. Early night. Math test tomorrow. Of course. Well, just do your best, Henry. Yes, Dad. I'm sure you'll get one or two answers right. Thanks, Dad. Good night. Ready for this, Henry? Ready, Ralph. I tried writing my times table on a carrot. Cool. It's clean, sir. Hmm. Can't get much on a carrot stick, sir. I'll be having that young man. How? Um, not cool. Brains before bogey brains, Henry. As I thought. It's a design for the Henry Goose Lime Calculometer, sir. Well, you won't be needing that in the test, will you? No, sir. Mascot, sir. surprise for the girls, do we? Uh, no, we certainly don't. Right, what happens next? What do you mean, what happens next? We're not really going to entertain them for two hours till Daring Dan and his sidekick arrive, are we? Why not? It could be quite fun. Are you kidding? They'll spot us from miles off. Oh, right. What are we going to do then? I don't know. I do. I know what we can do. What? What? Tell me, Peter. No, not unless you promise not to steal it this time and pretend it was your brilliant idea. All right, I promise. We find somewhere to hide for two hours and then when Daring Dan gets here, we can watch him and then sneak home again and no one will know we're here. Hmm, pretty good. Mm, just one problem. What's that? Margaret's mum knows we're here. Then we'll have to make her think we're still here, won't we? Are you sure this is going to work, Peter? Trust me, Henry. Won't be long now. Margaret's still just deciding which pink tutu she's going to wear. OK. okay. Are you feeling all right? Can hide in here. Oh, we certainly can. Mmm, delicious. I can't think where those look-alikey party entertainers got to. Need a hand? Oh yes, this is really heavy. Cake 
trolley with no clothes on. And it looks like we're joining the party. Yay! <clears throat> Cakey time in a minute. First, we've got a surprise for you. I most certainly am! Ah! Daring Dance! At your service! And may I introduce Jumping James! Henry. Now, who's going to help me make the picnic? Oh, me please. I'll help you, Dad. Please, can I help? please -ity please It's all right, Worm. There's no competition. You go right ahead, Toady Toad. Don't be horrid, Henry. Ooh, look. Lettuce and cucumber. Ooh, and tomatoes. Right, we need the picnic blanket. Oh, I'll get it for you, Dad. And I'll pack the picnic. <laughs> Right. Picnic blanket. Check. Picnic bag. Got it, Dad. You're supposed to say check. Check. Worm. Sun umbrella. Ah, oh, I left that in the kitchen. I'll get it, Dad. Did you want to take the tiddlywinks in case we get bored later? I'm bored already. And no, I do not want to take the tiddlywinks. Oh, is that a tomato? What? Uh, oh, that. Mmm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Go on. Chew. I am chewing, Worm. Hurry up, boys. Coming, Dad. What a wormy worm! Henry! <laughs> Come on, Dad! Here, Henry. Let me take something. Hey, smelly nappy baby. You can carry something too. I am carrying something. I've got the tiddlywinks. <laughs> tiddlywinks. Tiddly stinks more like. Don't be horrid, Henry. I didn't say that, Henry. Well then, are we going in the car? No. <sighs> Told you so. It's family fresh air day today, Henry. Remember? Oh, how could I forget? It's so easy being me. I'm Thank <laughs> you. 
Ben Reed? Um, bouquet, walk away, bow, oh no, um, bow, uh, question, question, oh, 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 Peter. display. In Tudor times, mud and straw were used to make the walls of our ancestors' homes. Miss Battleaxe's class will now demonstrate this ancient craft. So horrid, Henry. You've disgraced the entire family and you've made your brother look like a complete idiot. <laughs> but I only want to ask. <gasps> wow! At last! They've come to get me! <laughs> they've come to get me! They're going to take me to the tower and jump off my head! The Queen has been asked thousands of questions, but never before has anyone inquired about the number of television sets she owns. And there are 82 television sets in the palace. 82? I haven't got any. Do you think she might have a spare one for my bedroom? Don't push it, you horrid boy. But as you and your brother made her visit to your school unlike any other, I have been instructed by Her Majesty to issue you with these two royal passes to the Tower of London. The Tower? No! So easy, being me, come on, Henry. Dearly beloved. We are gathered here today to witness the joining of Polly Penelope and Paul Peregrine. <laughs> Peregrine? <laughs> Shut it, Brett. Oh, they need to get a thing together. Oh, Oh. I think that's 
of my lovely new bride. I'm out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I first met my lovely wife when she was just a little baby, but she said it all already. Really? I think this could be the best day of my life! 